Hey guys, it's Play Gaming for Fun, and today Bailey is not only talking, but for the first time we're doing some of Bailey's gameplay, which is very exciting, at least for me. But anyways, today we're talking about Black Ops 2 Legos. Why is there not, like, Black Ops 2 Legos or Black Ops 2 Mega Blocks? And you're thinking, well, that whole thing seems too far-fetched. Why would a toy company want to sell a toy of a mature rated game but then you think about it well there's halo mega blocks so it doesn't seem that far-fetched and i think there would be a lot of people who would like to buy you know a lego uav or a mega blocks uav now i could see this maybe being something that mega blocks would do i mean sure there's going to be a big backlash from the parents and stuff but after all, I can walk into, say, Walmart, and I can find in the children's section a t-shirt of Call of Duty Black Ops 2. So, obviously, when the Halo 4, Halo 3, whenever, whatever they were for, just Halo in general, Mega Bloks came out, obviously, Mega Bloks understood who buys the stuff here. They understood that adults play with building blocks too and that children play mature rated games so you know if we ever went on to see like some grand theft auto legos or mega blocks i wouldn't be surprised now the closest thing lego's done has been star wars stuff and those guns don't even look remotely real so could we see call of duty mega blocks i think it's a completely reasonable idea and it's something that we could be seeing now. I don't know if Activision would actually allow themselves to give up the Call of Duty name for something that basically is a toy. But, you know, then the other question is what would there be for you to build? I mean, like I said earlier, I said the UAV. Well, that's a decent idea. But, you know, Halo is more vehicle oriented, so you get all this vehicle stuff you know they got warthogs and all this stuff you can make out of mega blocks and call of duty not really vehicle oriented all they'd be able to make would be like equipment so like hunter killers uavs i doubt you'd see them make a gun and another thing i think they could do is i think they could do maps now obviously you make a whole map that would get really expensive so maybe a portion of a map would be realistic so, let's say you're looking at Nuketown. You know, maybe selling the whole Nuketown would be kind of expensive for people you want know, to buy. So, maybe they could make and sell half Nuketown. So, just do maybe just one house from Nuketown. Maybe just put down like a little padish thing and then have, you know, some of the stuff in the backyard. And then maybe they could sell the other house from Nuketown separately. And you could shove them together, and then all of a sudden, oh, now you have the whole of Nuketown. But, obviously, selling the a map, I mean, you could sell a map, but you couldn't sell it as one box. It would be far too expensive. But I think you could split it up. And I think you could do equipment. It's just, there's kind of a problem with Call of Duty not having vehicles and DLC, this would probably be a good way to promote DLC, really, if you think about it. I mean, DLC comes out, if you can sell a toy of the new DLC, you know, like, Encore and all those new maps just came out, if they could sell, like, a toy version of that map, that would be something that would not only promote the game, but it would also, you know, make them more money from licensing off the their name to somebody else. So I think that that's definitely something that potentially could end up making them a lot of money. But I just don't know if there's quite enough of stuff to make. Like this, you see right here, the RCXD. That's a potential model. Now, the RCXD wouldn't be real size. It wouldn't be tiny. They'd have to make the RCXD be bigger. You know, maybe make it be the size of one of those Star Wars ships. You'd have to enlarge it in order to make it be like a true set that somebody might actually want to play with but 
I don't know if this is something we'd see in the future. If we did, I think it would be a profitable thing for Activision, a profitable thing for Mega Bloks. It's just not something I could see Lego doing. But Mega Bloks is somebody who'd be willing to take this risk with the consumers and, you know, maybe piss off some mom and dads because they're selling Legos for mature or building blocks for mature rated game to children. But I think it's realistic. Just I don't think it's going to actually happen. Alright guys, so this was Play Gaming for Fun. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you subscribe and like.